The Resident Evil Village demo has been broken down and it's good news as the game hits a stable 60 frames per second on both Xbox Series X and PS5. The in-depth video from Digital Foundry shows the castle and village demo sections are analysed across the PS5, the Xbox Series X and the Series S platforms. Digital Foundry notes that the two former platforms maintain a pretty stable 60 frames per second across the board even while ray tracing is turned on for both consoles. However, in a more extensive write-up on Eurogamer, the Xbox Series X boasts a slightly better performance overall, whereas the PS5 version of Resident Evil Village can drop roughly 10 frames in action-packed moments, the Xbox Series X generally has a better grasp on 60 frames per second even when things start getting a little bit more eventful. The Xbox Series S is a different beast however, whilst the Xbox's less powerful console does have a ray tracing option, it has a major impact on performance and right now Digital Foundry are recommending not to use the ray tracing mode while playing on the Xbox Series X. However, on the frame rate side of things, the Series S can generally handle 60 frames per second if ray tracing is being switched off. Xbox has announced Red Dead Online, FIFA 21, Just Cause 4 Reloaded, Outlast 2, Psychonauts, Steep, Dragon Quest Builders 2, Final Fantasy X, X2 HD Remaster and Remnant From Ashes will all be joining Xbox Game Pass in May of 2021. While Red Dead Redemption 2 was removed from Game Pass in September 2020, Red Dead Online will give players the opportunity to go back to the Wild Wild West with their friends. It also joins Grand Theft Auto V, which was re-added to Xbox Game Pass last month. The full list of games come to Game Pass and what platforms they will be on are as follows. Dragon Quest Builders will be on console and PC. FIFA 21 will also be the same via EA Play. Outlast 2 will be the same but will also feature on the cloud. Steep will be on cloud and console. Final Fantasy X and X2 HD Remaster will be console and PC. Just Cause 4 Reloaded will be console, PC and cloud. Psychonauts will be cloud, console and PC. Red Dead Online will be cloud and console. And last but not least, Remnant From Ashes will be on the PC. Insert Coin Clothing is your one-stop shop for all your gaming apparel needs, whether that's t-shirts, hoodies, hats or whatever. So if you'd like to get your hands on some of the merch that you may have seen featured on the podcast, head over to insertcoin.com and use promo code XBOXTAVERN20 for 20% off for a limited time. Link will be in the description below. The Xbox Series X FPS boost feature has been added to a whopping 74 Xbox One games, bringing the total number of games that support the feature to 97. For the uninitiated, FPS boost is an Xbox Series X slash S feature that increases or gives you the option to increase the frame rate on selected Xbox One games. Before today, there were only around 20 games with SPS boost, but this latest drop massively increased that number. Some of the more notable Xbox games being added to the system include Alien Isolation, Yakuza 6, Metro Last Light, Dirt 4, Wasteland 3 and Watch Dogs. Xbox has a full list of the games including FPS Boost available at the link in the description below. That is all from myself folks, I will be back again at the same time next Wednesday. If you like what you hear, please like this video and subscribe to the channel and I will catch you all next week.